Hello and welcome to Calix TV, this is Tom Bailey in London. Specialty insurer Lancashire felt the impact of its multi-year contracts in its property, energy and marine segments again in the third quarter of this year, with the pre-tax pre profit and top-line figures contracting. Pre-tax pre profit shrank from 36.1 million uh, in the quarter last year to 32.9 for the same period this year, while gross written premiums decreased by 20.8% following the effect of the multi-year deals and rate reductions. The property and casualty division of Italian insurance giant Generali achieved an 11% increase in operating profits to 501 million in the third quarter, according to its interim management statement. The PNC's top line also increased by 2.4% to 4.5 billion. The CEO of UK insurer uh, RSA Stephen Hester has insisted that the carrier's turnaround operation remains on track despite the distraction of a takeover approach from, from rival Zurich. In RSA's interim management statement this morning, Hester said that he was pleased with the progress in reforming RSA, adding that the future looked bright for the, for the insurer. US intelligence sources suggest that terrorists may have bombed the Russian Metrofight 9286, and several countries are taking extra precautions, but for different reasons. Russia's air safety agency Rostronazor said today that Metronet's entire Airbus a321 fleet had been grounded while additional safety checks had been conducted. Meanwhile, British and US officials said the plane may have been bombed, prompting British authorities to halt flights to and from Sharm el Sheikh, Sharm el Sheikh in Egypt. US officials have told CNN that the intelligence suggests that ISIL or its affiliates planted a bomb on the Russian plane. Officials stressed that no formal conclusion has been reached by the US intelligence community and that the US officials haven't seen forensic evidence from the crack investigation. But the intelligence also suggests someone at Sharm el-Sheikh airport helped to get a bomb onto the plane. The official further said that the airport has lacked security and it's known for that. There is intelligence suggesting an assistant from someone in the airport. A in Sudan, a cargo plane has crashed shortly after takeoff in Jabba, which is in South Sudan, killing dozens of people and raising questions about security at the country's main international airport. Yesterday morning, the Soviet area, air, era Antonov 12 plummeted into a grove of fruit, fruit trees uh, on the sparsely populated east side of the Nile River, according to witnesses at the scene of the crash. It was unclear exactly how many people were on board. An American aircraft carrier was closely tracked by Chinese submarines off the coast of Japan last month, according to a U.S. defense official. In the latest example of the test of wills between the two countries in the waters off the Pacific, a submerged Chinese Kilo-class fast attack submarine shadowed the USS Ronald Reagan for at least half a day on October the 24th, according to the official. He did not say how close the two vessels came to each other, but he noted it was more than a brief encounter. Chinese officials have yet to uh, comment on the matter. The Syrian regime has captured a vital supply route into Aleppo less than two weeks after the road was seized by ISIL militants. The loss of the Kazna Afnareya highway was seen as a blow to the regime, squeezing it on a key front even as Russian warplanes backed fences against rebel groups across the country. Syrian state television broadcast a triumphal footage of the road being reopened yesterday. Finally, Myanmar's opposition leader Aung San Suu Kyi has declared that her party has a momentum of victory in Sunday's elections, but warned against the ongoing fraudulent actions that could disrupt the electoral process. At a press conference today ahead of the uh, parliamentary vote on November the 8th, the Nobel Prize, Prize winner said she was increasingly encouraged by the enthusiasm of the people, even as she uh, bared information about the illegal advance voting in some areas of the country. That's all from us today. We'll be back at the same time again tomorrow. Until then, thank you and goodbye.